Okay, guys, just a quick video for you. Um, Romy asked, how do you do a fade-out in Logic? Okay, well, here's my bit of music. Um, obviously, you're going to have more tracks to your song, and your song will be longer. But there's my song beginning here, and there's the end of the music there. And we want to fade out at the end. There's two ways to do it. The easiest way is to use the menu to do an automatic fade-out. You just go Mix, Create Track Automation, Fade Out. Select that, let go with the left mouse, boom. And it creates a track at the bottom of the track column titled Stereo Out. And this track here is connected to the final stereo channel in the mixer that your whole mix goes through. Uh, this Your whole mix goes through this final stereo channel here and off to your speakers, right? So this track has been created connected to that channel, controlling that channel. If I move this volume control, it, it controls the fader, right? Okay. Coming off this track, volume is the selected track automation parameter. So this track is controlling the volume fader on the final master channel where your stereo mix is passing through, this final stereo left mix channel. It's normally at 0 dB, this line coming across. And there's your fade out at the end. Put in automatically for you. Let's zoom in on it. And basically, by default, you get a 5 bar fade out. So there's the beginning node there where the fade out begins, which is at 0 dB the same as the line. And it's just before that bar, so you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bars. And it fades out down to this final node, which is right at the bottom. And um, there is a 5 bar fade out automatically put in for you. Okay, if you want to change where the length of the fade out, this is five bars. Okay, if you want to make it shorter or longer, just click on the background here anyway to release these nodes so they turn yellow. There's the beginning node of the start of the fade out. You drag that forward to where you want the fade out to begin if you want a longer fade out, or you drag it back that way if you want a shorter fade out. So if I drag it to there, for example, now my fade out begins there, and I've got an eight bar fade out. And then I just click and add in some extra nodes just readjust these nodes not the final one leave that alone just readjust the ones in between between the starting node and the end node this should be at zero the same as the actual default fader like that right and then just arrange these nodes to make the shape of the fade out curve that you want like that and now I've got an eight bar fade out starting there <laughs> You see, in this volume track automation for this track is controlling the fader here, so this is fading the fader here out, down like that, doing a fade out. Yeah? Okay. That's the automatic way, okay? Or you can do it manually. Let's reload the song. Okay, to do it manually, we're basically going to do the same thing that the menu item did for us automatically, but we're going to do it all manually, bit by bit. So you open the mixer, you go to the final master stereo out channel, right-click anywhere on the grey background, create track, that creates a track for that final stereo fader channel. Then you switch on the track automation, on the track for the final channel that we've created, you select volume as the automation parameter. Usually it's at 0 dB there, and this line coming off, this grey line is at 0 dB. And we want our fade out at the end. You go to the end of the song, and you click and input a node where you want the fade out to begin. So if I wanted a 4 bar fade out, 1, 2, 3, 4, I'd want my fade out to begin there. So I click there and input click again and input a node that should be at 0 dB the same as the line and then I click to input my final node where the song fades to silence click there and drag that right to the bottom as far down as it will go and then next to the dB sign you get a little like a Mobius loop symbol when it's right at the bottom now the thing to note is this final node right when you grab it and move it there's a white line comes off it vertically showing you its exact position this final node must be either exactly equal with these blocks of music where it ends or slightly inside but it can't be outside the blocks of music at the end otherwise
the music will finish before the fader has reached the bottom and you'll hear it stop you'll hear the music stop so this wants to be right level with the blocks of music at the end or slightly inside like that and then you add in the extra nodes that you want to build the curve and you build your fade out curve like that and we've just all we've done is the same thing but we've done it manually we've all, we've manually created the track for the fader channel we've manually put in the fade out same thing though and this automation is again controlling this master fader here for the final channel <laughs> Alrighty, so that's how you do a fade out in Logic. Hope that's useful, and I'll see you for the next video.